What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you some of the best Android apps for this month. So let's get started. First app is called Impulse and it's an icon pack app. So the, the home screen setup you saw previously, the icons and the wallpaper is from this app. So as you can see the icons look brilliant, they are materialistic and there are many of them for games, for system and all of them. As you can see there are so many of them. So do check it out from the description below. Next we have a document editing app and it's called Monospace. So it's actually free on Play Store and this is how it looks like. It's very minimal. You have this button to create new documents. Then you can have your previously created or edited documents. You can also switch between light and dark mode over here. So let's open one of the documents. So as you can see it's very minimal. You can highlight them. And then you can bold, italics, even increase the font size and start typing. So it's very minimal, there are not so many features but it's very easy and fast to use. As you can see you can have short to-do lists or instead type long stories and it will still work perfectly. Moving on is an awesome application called Macrotroid. So what this app does, it automates so many different settings on your device. So let's add a macro. As you can see, select trigger, so let's say battery level. So when the battery level decreases to let's say 30%, you want some actions to be done, such as the brightness reducing. You can have so many different things like the Bluetooth, disable Bluetooth. You can also have Wi-Fi configure, you can disable Wi-Fi when the battery is low. You can also have tweets, so when something happens, not as a okay, battery, but when something else happens, you can send, uh, send a tweet. You can, there are also other root features such as killing applications and those but we, even if you don't have root there's so many other things you can do then the tick sign then you can also add constraints so what this does is uh, like certain times you don't want this feature to get activated so let's say day of the week so you don't want this feature to get activated on a saturday and sunday so that's okay then now we'll have to rename it so let's just say battery and we're done. So as you can see I already have other macros over here such as music. When I insert the headphones it automatically launches the music player. So you can do so much with this app and if you don't create your own there's already inbuilt templates and you can download others from top rated and latest but for that you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Then you can also import and export templates. So it's a very awesome app. Do check it out from the description below. The next app is a reminder app called Randomly Remind Me. So it's basically like a normal reminder app, however it has some extra features. So as you can see the message for mine is drink water, cause if I don't I'll die. And then the message, the ordering is random or you can have in order. Then the timing, you can either have a range or specific. So when you choose a range, you have to select the start time and end time. As you can see chosen 9 am to 8 pm then you have to choose the reminders per day how many you want such as 10 20 30 like that so 10 so what this will do is between 9 am and 8 pm it will give you at least 10 reminders or 10 reminders in a random order then choose the weeks like if you want it to repeat every week or first week second week like that then the days of the week then the sound priority and then or you can also enable LED color and choose the icons and accent color and also snooze. So it's a great reminder app and you can use it for almost anything such as workouts or revising for tests and exams. So almost anything. It's a great app and it's actually free. So do check it out from the description below. The next app I have for you is called Audify. So what this app does, it, it reads out your notifications for you. As you can see, enable on headset or on speaker. So I've disabled speaker because I don't ever want to hear my notifications. You can also manage the apps like if you don't the notifications to be read out for some apps. However you only get 250 notification like it'll read out for you only 250 of them. After that you have to buy it. The other settings you can change such as audify on screen, notification settings, announce caller, name and all those so it's a great app and if you like it you can buy it 
or you can download it for free and then just get 250 of them to try it out. Moving on is an app called SD Made. So this app does for you so many things in order to make your phone faster and improve in performance and speed. So as you can see, there's the overview, searcher, app control. So what app com control does, it shows you which apps are running in the background and which apps auto start on boot. As you can see, auto start, running, all those. You can also use the app cleaner so you can remove cache from each app. As you can see, at least 123 MB can be cleaned. There's also duplicates. So if you have duplicates on your device, this app will clean them for you. From files to pictures to anything. There is also Corpse Finder. As you can see, these are directories that belong to an application which is no longer on the device. So they slow down the device, but with this app you can remove them. You can also get an overview of your device. So it's a really awesome app and it actually helps improve the system. As you can see the overview. It tells you if your device is rooted and all of that. So do check it out from the description below if you want to make your device faster and more efficient. The next application is called Snap. So this app does, it, it adds another status bar on your device. So when you pull down from the right corner, top corner of your device, another status bar will come where you can have so many different widgets and like that. As you can see over here there's a time, the music player and the macro droid bar which you can actually operate com and they're all completely functional. You can also add so many different widgets. So these are the widgets you add on your home screen but now you can add them in the status bar. You can change some settings such as the activation area where you, if you want it on the right or the left, activate on lock screen, immersive mode and other things, accessibility and a lot. So it's a really awesome app and it's actually free. So do check it out from the description below. Next is an application called Gallery Doctor. So what this app does is it scans your gallery for bad photos or similar duplicate photos or even long videos and especially WhatsApp photos. Then cleans it up for you to free space on your device and make your device faster. You can have custom scans or even change some settings such as weekend cleanup. So every time uh, on the weekend you'll just clean up your device. It's a very useful application especially when you want to get rid of duplicates or some extra stuff in your gallery but you don't have time for it. So do check it out from the description below. Moving on is a battery saving application called Doze. So on Android Marshmallow it's an inbuilt feature and it works really well. It helps save battery when the device is sleeping. However, if you have Android Lollipop or KitKat or any of those below, you wouldn't have this feature. So to get it, just download this application, it's actually free. And you can change some settings over here, such as Wi-Fi preferred, so those quits when the Wi-Fi is connected. And you can also add some apps to the whitelist, so that's all you can do. But this app really helps saving battery on the device. So do check it out from the description below. The last application is called Mathway. So what this application does is it's an advanced calculator which can solve algebra, trigonometry, calculus, like almost any kind of math, even chemistry. So let's try solving algebra. Let's just say 8x times y equals to, let's say 56. So as you can see, rewrite in slope, solve for x. Rewrite in standard form, you can do all this, find the inverse. Let's just try solve for x, we'll see what we get. Answer, and it'll take some time to calculate. As you can see, x equals to 7 over y. You can also view the steps, and you get the graph. So it works for almost anything, you can try trigonometry, basic math, and it works perfectly. However, if you want to view the steps, you have to actually pay some money. But it's a free app and it works perfectly and it works offline. So do check it out from the description below. That was all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Do hit the like button. Do leave your suggestions in the comment section below. They really help me a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you want more Android stuff. Meet you guys in the next video.